Pony, I am HeartCRC and your eyes do not deceive you. This is another pony review in a short amount of time. This episode was just downright adorable and I really wanted to talk about it. Let's jump right in. We start out with the Cutie Mark Crusaders helping a pair of concerned parents understand what their daughter's cutie mark means. A skull and bones. Oh my. It turns out that she has a knack for finding dinosaur remains. This makes me wonder what Equestria used to look like. Is that too loud? I'm sorry. Man, what is in this stuff? Anyways, the CMC are confidently talking about all the ponies they've helped with their cutie marks and wondering if there's a problem that they can't solve. Enter Gabby, the energetic and not grumpy Griffin who wants to earn her own cutie mark. Though it doesn't seem possible after consulting Twilight, the CMC promised to help her all that they can to find her purpose. As it turns out, Gabby is notoriously good at everything she tries. So good that the Crusaders just aren't sure how to help her anymore. Gabby flies off only to return later with a cutie mark of her very own. What? What? Huh? No! How is this possible? Well, it turns out that it's not. Poor Twilight, she got so excited over nothing. Oh, I hope I have enough ink and parchment to document everything! Smile! Guess what just happened? She's so stinking adorable. Gabby painted a fake cutie mark on her flank in an attempt to make the Crusaders feel better about not being able to help. Doll. Even though the Crusaders aren't able to get Gabby a real cutie mark, they were still able to help her find a purpose in life, helping others. I really love this message, and I'll talk about this more in a few. The CMC give Gabby her very own cutie mark clips for her bag and even make her an honorary crusader. You go, girls! I love this episode for a number of reasons. The introduction of Gabby is a very welcome change from all of the grumpy griffins that we've seen. She is a wonderful and adorable character who I seriously just want to hug. She's always trying to help those around her. I I love the determination of the Cutie Mark Crusaders here as well, who attempt to face the impossible to help a new friend. They give their all to help her find her destiny. The song in the episode was also a lovely touch. I also really love all of the callbacks in this episode. Flashbacks to Griffin Stone with Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash, a subtle hint at the Cutie Pox and getting to see Zakora again. The most admirable one is Scootaloo talking about her inability to fly. She knows what Gabby is going through. She knows what it's like to want something more than anything even though it seems impossible. It makes her want to help Gabby even more. For as iron sharpens iron, so another person sharpens another. I hope we get to see some more friendly griffins or friendly non-ponies in the future. Until then, what did you think of this episode? Do you want to see more characters like Gabby in the future? What do you think the CMC will do next? I look forward to hearing from you. As always, I'm open to any collabs, theories, and suggestions that you guys might have. I am Harcy Artie and thanks for watching!